So we got this new scooter sent to us uh, by Varla, and it's called the Eagle One. There it is. It's ridiculous. It's so fast. It's crazy. So these are my initial kind of impressions of this thing, and just really what it's all about. in a really big box first off so just something to note like it is a big box the scooter also weighs 77 pounds it's a big deal it's big it's and it's a big scooter so it comes in a big box now Varla is really cool when you order it you actually get to choose other accessories uh, but the standard accessories that come with it are the charger obviously for it it comes with a multi-tool so you can actually put the scooter together you do need to do a little bit of assembly it's some basic stuff though like putting the handlebars you know getting things like connected like that super simple it also comes with a set of pads uh, elbow knee and wrist pads because like I said this thing is fast and it comes with three other grip tape options so if you're not feeling the flaming skull look you can throw on the Apache chopper uh, American flag or a graffiti type design now if none of those are really what you're looking for, you can just buy whatever grip tape you want online, take one of those, trace it to cut the pattern, and then put that grip tape on. So not a big deal, but I do like that they give you some options. Most companies don't do that. That's cool that if this style isn't yours, maybe one of these other three are. So kind of a nice gesture for sure. I like the styling of the scooter. Uh, the black and red is cool. I like that color combination. It has built-in lights. That's a nice feature. You just hold down one of the buttons on the controller and they turn on or turn off. When you hit the brakes, those lights also blink to give the person behind you an idea that you are braking. So nice little touches there. The way it's built seems extremely like beefy. It's super sturdy. All of the components are really thick. All the metal seems really sturdy. Nothing seems small. I went over the whole scooter uh, to check for anything being loose. I didn't really find anything that was like blatantly loose. Sometimes you get things shipped to you and you check and things are like barely even in there like screws. I didn't find that at all in this. So someone's going over it to make sure things are right. And that gives you like a good feeling of security when you're on it. Now this is a dual motor scooter, meaning the front wheel and the rear wheel both have a motor inside. Each one of those motors is a thousand watts, so that's 2,000 watts of power, and this thing screams. It, it apparently can hit 40 miles an hour. Now I haven't done 40 yet on it. My top on it so far has been 37, which is really, really quick. Uh, it does support up to 330 pounds also. Um, and what I do like is that you can run it with only one motor if you want, for instance, or you can run it with two motors and it's just a button right there. It's really easy. You don't have to like go into menus or anything. You just click this big old button and boom, you're in single motor or dual motor. And there's a drastic difference between the two. So if you're wanting to just kind of put around a little like mellower on the acceleration, switch to motor one. You also get much better range, I'm sure. And if you want to like go up a hill really fast or you need or it's a really steep hill and you want that extra motor, you can hit it any time. Just tap the button and you've got the other motor on. It turns on the front one. The rear one always is on. Now, when you're going that fast, it's important to be able to stop really fast no matter what you're on. Now, with this, you have hydraulic disc brakes on the front and rear and they stop quick. They're made by Zoom. The handles themselves are really comfortable. They're easy to grasp. And yeah, it stops on a dime. Like it'll lock up the wheels. So be prepared. Now the scooter's rated at a range of 40 miles. Now on the site, Varla does specifically say this is in the eco mode. I believe eco limits you like 16 miles an hour. I think I'll verify that and get back to you on the full review of this. This is just kind of my first thoughts on it and what you really get with the, with the scooter. Um, it takes quite a bit of time to charge. It's I think like eight hours or something on the on the one charger. But as one of your three gifts, you can ask for a second charger and there's actually two inputs. Pretty smart. Plug both in. You don't need like a really expensive uh, huge charger. You can just have a small chargers and you can have two and plug them in and it'll charge in half the time. Yeah, because you're doubling the charge. I like that too because to keep the health of the battery better, if you don't need to ride it really quickly, throw one charger on it and it's always better to charge a battery slower than it is to charge it faster. On the grips you have the controller on the right. The throttle itself is a trigger style throttle so you pull it down which is really comfortable for long rides because you can just hold it and you're good and you're cruising. As opposed to twist where you can get tired doing it or thumb same thing a little bit more tired. I like this way. Um, 
so I'm really happy that it has a, a trigger style throttle. The grips themselves are super comfortable. They have a palm rest spot, so you can kind of like, it, it does make a difference when you're riding for a long time. There's also a built-in bell that's nice if there's people in front of you. And as I said before, there also is the big button for single or dual motor, also eco or turbo. I was riding mostly in the turbo mode, in the dual motor, and then on the actual controller, you have one, two, or three modes also. So on the third mode is like the fastest it'll go, the most torque, the most speed. The deck itself has a good design to it. I feel like I have a good amount of grip. I stagger my feet when I ride, and typically with that upper arc piece that goes, it's not really the fender because there's a fender underneath it that covers for like mud or water or anything, but the other piece that's like another fender is made of metal and I can put my foot on that and you, it's a good way to like brace when you're going to take off. And if you're doing that, it gives you a lot more stability. Speaking of stability, I felt actually really stable even at higher speeds. It doesn't twitch on me nearly as much as I thought it would, just any scooter for that matter. It, it holds really well. I think a couple things help with that. One is that it is a larger tire that is a pneumatic tire. The smaller scooters uh, that are not pneumatic aren't as stable, I'm sure, at like 35 miles an hour. This felt pretty stable. And then the other cool thing is the suspension. The suspension on this thing is game changing. Be able to just like huck it off of the curb. Like I can push into the little like, you know, ramp at the end of your driveway and pop off of it. It is so much fun. And then when you land, it just soaks it up. The suspension's adjustable too, so if you weigh a little bit more or a little bit less, you can make some changes there. But right out of the box, it was great, and I'm just crushing off of curbs and it's just soaking it up. And now in practical terms, when I'm on my ride, I was cruising around pretty rough streets and I'm hitting bumps that I've hit on e-skates and I've hit on one wheels and I've hit on e-bikes and on one wheels and on e-skates, I definitely got to be paying attention to be a lot slower. On this, I was hitting them at like 30 miles an hour, just sucking up the bumps like they're nothing. So yeah, super stable, really, really impressive. Um, these are just my initial thoughts. So I'm going to get back to you. I want to do an actual range test on the scooter and then I'm going to do like a full review as well. I want to go do some off-road. So I'm going to tell you in that kind of what it's like on street, what it's like on dirt after I get like a couple hundred miles on it. I've ridden it for I think about 40 miles so far, so I've got a good feeling of it, but I want to go rip some trails and get out there and see what it's all about. If you guys like the review, hit the thumbs up, and if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. I'd be happy to answer them. And if you're thinking about picking up one of Varla's scooters, go ahead and click the link below. It helps out the channel a little bit, and I will see you guys next time.